from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, another hot one out there today. 96 the high. The morning start 82 degrees. Ties the all-time record for July for the warmest overnight low. And it looks like tonight we might set another record. By the way, the warmest low we've ever reported, 83 degrees. Back on August 3rd, 2010, we may have a shot at that in the days to come. So we'll see how it goes. Because we're not only so hot during the day, we're very warm at night. The Gulf of Mexico is warm, but the ground is heating up. We're not getting cooling showers and thunderstorms. So it's that ground temperature. If you try to run the cold water at your house, it's not cold. It's 82, 83 degrees. So let's go ahead and take a look to see what's going on across uh, the globe and our part of the world as we look at the water vapor imagery. And we got lots of high pressure at our latitude, roughly at about, uh, say, 30 to 35 degrees north from the Pacific coast into the Atlantic. So we're not going to see any big low pressure systems around the periphery of the high that's dominating our weather. We're seeing showers and thunderstorms uh, building up and heading to the southeast. But they're going to bypass us for the next day or two. But come Sunday, We'll have a chance at some of those storms, so that is the good news. High pressure out at the surface in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. That's been allowing for a southwest wind, and that keeps our temperatures up at night. So we're in the mid-80s now. We're only going to drop a degree or two more. As we scan the regional Doppler radars, all is quiet on all the sweeps across the board. Even power Doppler 3, nice and quiet. And I'm remind you, the only live high-power Doppler radar in Acadiana. Acadiana's radar is working 24 and 7. So here's the big picture. You see those storms erupting off to our north and west, but not a whole lot going on close to home. National Hurricane Center keeping an eye on this system, and as we mentioned, at uh, 6 o'clock and 5 o'clock, this is getting more organized, and this is very close to becoming a subtropical storm. If so, the name will be Don, but this is going to be moving into the North Atlantic and eventually hitting cooler water, so perhaps a short-lived system and we'll use up the name Don, and it'll get recycled again come six years down the road. As we look at the rest of uh, the Caribbean into the Atlantic Basin. All is relatively quiet. We do have a hurricane, though, in the Pacific. This is Hurricane Calvin uh, rolling off to the west. We'll keep an eye on it for Hawaii, but it probably will max out before it gets close to there. So it's the dust time of year. We start watching the African dust and notice where we are, are right now. Uh, we had, to, had some hazy skies of late, but look at this. As we head into tomorrow and Saturday, it looks like the haze is going to be on. Some African dust moving in and there's plenty more where that came from. So we're going to have a hazy, hot and humid weekend, hopefully with the chance of storms come Sunday and plenty of dust on the way. That uh, stays with us usually through July, but by August it begins to abate and that's when tropical systems get going. So tonight we're going to go 80 near the low, uh, 79 if we're lucky, and then uh, as we head into tomorrow, upper 90s, latest model run of the herd getting up at 99 degrees. Don't think it's going to get that hot, but it's going to get close. Near 80 again for a Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon. Once again, upper 90s. That heat index up near 110. But notice the storms up here by the Red River. Those are the storms that may make a run for Acadiana as we head into Sunday afternoon or at least the energy with those storms. So tonight, 80 the overnight low. Tomorrow, back into the mid to upper 90s. No big changes there. And that heat index still brutal, topping out near 110 to maybe up to 115. I saw a couple of reasons at 114 116 in uh, Lafayette again today just for five minute periods uh, but uh, it, for an hour or two you're going to be in the 110 range and we see that plotted up in fact tomorrow's heat index uh, looks to be uh, the roughest, uh, roughest as it's been all week 108 or better for four or five hours and that's when it gets very dangerous so again if you work outdoors please hydrate take plenty of breaks, get an air conditioned environment and tell them Perillo said so. Blame it on me. Go ahead. I can blame for other things. Why not? 80 the overnight low tonight. So it could be another record low if we hit 80. 79 is the record for tomorrow morning and then for tomorrow 97 to 98 the high again a mostly sunny day. Still a little bit of a breeze out of the west southwest. So that is the good news. There's a breeze in the afternoon when that wind dies down. Those upper 90s are that much worse. So more upper 90s in the 
the offing as we get into the weekend. Chance of rain on Sunday at about 50% now. We do think we'll see some scattered storms and some lingering action into Monday, but it's just going to be enough to tease, not enough to please as we do need soaking rains and we do not see that in the forecast. Those storms on Sunday, though, could have some gusty winds with and we'll have more on that and a better picture of when we can expect the storms and how much rain tomorrow. You get blamed for things? Uh, uh, on occasion. I know Every it's shocking. Every now and then. Shocking. <laughs> shocking. Thank you, Rob.